I'm not disgracing the civilian. I am telling the truth about what is hidden in the civilian. And it's a shameful to Nigerian government that we should borrow money to pay salary of the federal government workers. Even salary, not even infrastructure. 70% of the salary will be implemented by borrowing. And these people, they hold Nigerian money in their hand. This is what is paining me. Why? Honorable Nigerian Honorable. people cannot supposed to suffer. Honorable. I said 89.1 trillion people are, are, are surprising. There was one minister that I had, I never heard from him, but he said I supposed to go to Zakatri. Or well, maybe you're supposed to go and test and find out what is wrong with your brain. That is what, because, because of the amount of the money they had, 89 trillion, but he's supposed to be, he, the person that told me that I supposed to be, my brain supposed to be investigated in the psychiatry. He is the one supposed to be investigated. Because as a government official, as a minister, he's supposed to know what is going. He could have invited me because he's my right man. We are all working under President Muhammad Buhari. So he can invite me and ask me my side. And now how will he say it to the Nigerian people that almost 22 trillion borrowed to the federal government by Central Bank of Nigeria. And the Central Bank in 2020, they said they borrowed 23.4 trillion to banks. So when you add 22 trillion with 24 trillion, it will give you almost, almost 40 six trillion so somebody who can borrow 46 trillion to government and banks how much he have that he can borrow you 50 46 trillion and when you look at the total equity of the cbn asset i think they are 0 0.3 trillion but surprising, how those people get opportunity to borrow 46 trillion to federal government and banks. So that money that I am suspecting is the government money. They share it, they give it as a loan to some banks, state. So that money is for federal government. And I am assure you, uh, Nazuru, if investigation go deep, some of the Nigerian banks will come back to be owned by government because it's a government money that, that some that people was, that buy was shares. That was used. That was used to buy the shares in some banks. So it's a Nigerian money. And well, this thing we are doing, we are doing it for the benefit of our country. Honorable Muhammad Gujarati Kazori, in as much as we can accept or agree with what you are trying to say, there are some that are really arguing that if there is an argument, or some people are saying, how on earth that 50 50 naira of stamp duty can accumulate to become trillions of naira? that you are saying is a stamp duty money that is yet to be uh, transferred into one account. When, when you go back, when the cashless transaction started in six states, including plus FCT, six states plus FCT, central bank said they target 2.5 trillion. Per year in six states, the time they started cashless transaction in only six states plus Abuja, they target 2.5 trillion a year. So, when they expand the cashless policy to 36 states, 
That is how the money accumulated to that amount. That 15 era you see, go and count the, mil the millions of transactions times 15 naira per day. You will see the money is, be is, is bigger than what I am. Right. So maybe if I think it's only myself that is paying the 15 naira, there are many others that are paying the same money. The, the money is, when you go back to the 60-40 ratio, there is another 100 naira. Because they abandoned stamp duty and created 100 naira charges, double the stamp duty. So that 60 bank, they, 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 they return 60, they send CBN 40 to CBN. So that 40 is not show in the CBN balance sheet or in any government account. So that 40, 40, 40, 40 times millions of transactions times those years. Is the money go to the private investors account in the CBN, then from there to an e window market, borrow to some people, borrow dollars to different states, and this is why we said is the Nigerian money. Government borrowed it is own money, and this is seriously is a disgrace to our nation. That in 2023 budget, even the salary of the federal government workers, 70 percent of the salary will be implemented by borrowing. How Nasur will this country with the 200 plus millions of people doing almost 100 million transactions a day? deducting this money every day, you said government cannot afford to pay salary until they borrow. They go and borrow government money to give government. That is why our investigation shows that there is no faith or any sanity or justice or fairness in this uh, borrowing money. How can you borrow, somebody will borrow you your money? In our last interview, there was that letter that you disclosed to us from a lawyer asking you to withdraw your statement and also pay damages of 500 million naira. Is there anything, uh, anything new that came up after that one? No, I advised the lawyer on media that he should not trigger us to release another document that he never expect we have it whatever we are doing we are doing with the forensic auditors and these forensic auditors they are agent to the central bank and they are agent to the federal government of nigeria at last they even have agreement master service agreement with the night post so they have experience they have even copyright on 15 naira stamp duty on cashless and manual tellers. So uh, the lawyer sent me a letter that I should withdraw my statement. I am not talking on myself. I am talking on what committee pined. As a secretary to the presidential committee for reconciliation and recovery of all stamp duty from 2013 to death. This is my responsibility to come out and tell Nigerians what do we find in our investigation. But what surprising me yet, we are still, I am still trying to meet Mr. President to explain him the reason why I talk to you media. Because for almost two months we are running our committee activities without informing any media and nobody's know when we were inaugurated because we saw in uh, out of secrecy but frustration that people block me as we did with mr president that each and every week i should go and reported to him that is what made me to become public and 
this lawyer that he sent me the, this he supposed to invite me or come and meet me to have the reasons why I mention such amount. I am not disgracing the civilian governor. I am not disgracing the civilian. I am telling the truth about what is hidden in the civilian. And it's a shameful to Nigerian government that we should borrow money to pay salary of the federal government workers. Even salary, not even infrastructure, roads, project, uh, road construction, drainage, uh, bridges, and others, dams, and those development projects. If not even we are talking about capital project. We are talking about salary of the federal government workers. Seventy percent of the salary will be implemented by borrowing. And these people, they hold Nigerian money in their hand. This is what is paining me. Why? Honorable, Nigerian people cannot supposed to suffer. Honorable Kalora, are you optimistic that one day you will meet Mr. President Muhammad Buhari? Yeah, I want to meet Mr. President as, is, as a, my father, because I consider him as my father. I lost my father about eight to seven months ago. Seven years. Uh, eight, eight months. Eight, eight months. months. Just eight, Very recently. Eight, recently. Not even up to here. My father, I, I lost my father. Okay, let's go. That born me. But the only father I have is the President Muhammad Buhari now. So I am trying to make sure he succeed in this administration because he's a man of God. He's a man of integrity. He's a man of honesty. But people spoil his name. People do him all these things. Some Nigerians are suspecting he's aware. So I'm trying to enlighten and educate Nigerian people to tell them that since Mr. President appointed this committee, he give us power to continue our investigation. Despite all these letters that they are sending us, they suspend our committee activities. Mr. President said he didn't suspend us. We should continue. So that means Mr. President is with Nigerian people and still he is fighting corruption. It's not an issue of politics. It's an issue of economic. We are not fighting CPM Gomu. We are not pursuing CPM Gomu. We He didn't block anything for us. But our investigation shows that the money we are borrowing, we have money. We are borrowing government, government money. We have money to solve all the nation debt. We have international and local. And we have money to fund our budget without borrowing. Why the Khan are trying to make this thing politics? That is what is surprising me. People are trying to go and tell the president lie. They are trying to tell the president lie. We supposed to be. I supposed to be supported by the Khan. I supposed to be supported as Nigerian people are supporting this issue. Let allowed us to enter CBN and see those account if we are lying. In the next one month, we will settle the nation debt, and we will we will call the journalists and tell them we recover not 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. There is nobody stronger than the president. What happened is the president believed in paper and the reality. I am the only person that will go and brief the president my report, my committee report. What I see, what they are hidden, they block me. Are you the only one in the committee? I am. I am not the only one. So but why is I, that you are the only one? I am. The, I am the secretary to the committee. All the documents are with me, oh. and the president directed me to go and brief him in weekly basis. Honorable, I know you have been meeting with Mr. President. My advice to president is he should call me as he approved this committee between me and him. He should call me and ask me the report of this committee. This is my advice. Let the president call me. Why are they blocking me to see the president? Let the president, you media, let you send the message to reach the president. Let the president invite me. Let the president call me 
I am sure if president call me I will tell him what he will never allow these people to continue running this government in a rubbish way. Are we sure that this is not my issue will not be swept under the carpet because I am sure even this government they didn't allow this thing to continue. Any man, anybody that emerged as a president in this country, he must invite me. He must support this committee to continue because it's the only way to sustain this nation without borrowing. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.